There's tons of courses out there, guys. Almost like you get bombarded when you first come across e-commerce with all these different walks of life kind of trying to get you to buy their stuff. You can go anywhere from a $20 Amazon course to upwards of $5,000 for an Amazon course. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Ecom Freedom YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about, you know, is Amazon FBA courses and are Amazon FBA courses scams? The industry has really tainted the respect that a lot of these e-com courses get uh, these days. So I'm just going to talk about some like kind of red flags to look out for and some experience that I've had uh, when it comes to courses. And are these courses worth it? Obviously, like I'm going to be a bit biased in this video because I'm affiliated with Ecom Freedom here. But, you know, I'm just going to give you some personal advice that I've dealt with kind of in the past, like when I first got into e-commerce and like what I've seen over the years, what I've seen, like being in the course industry, you know, some things to look out for because there's all different kinds of courses out there, right? Like you can go anywhere from a $20 Amazon course to upwards of $5,000 for an Amazon course. Are these FBA courses a scam? And the the truth of it is, is that some are and some aren't, right? Like, so you really got to do your research when you're um, looking to join any course for that matter that's online, right? Because there has been people in the past that have gotten a lot of trouble who are running these like online courses and they ended up being, you know, complete scams. I'm not going to name anybody in particular on this video, but there was a very big Amazon, you know, sought after uh, guru per se that actually just got in a lot of trouble for scamming people out of a lot of uh, money, kind of making biased claims, like just really pulling the wool over a lot of people's eyes, right? Do you need an Amazon course to be successful in Amazon in e-commerce for that matter? And the truth is, guys, you really don't, right? Like I'm living proof that you don't need a, to buy a course. Uh, back in the day, I didn't buy a course. I uh, kind of bootstrapped it and learned it, uh, I guess, the hard way looking back on it. But, um, you know, obviously there's tons of Reddit for forums out there uh, with a lot of information, the Seller Central forums, and there's a ton of free content on YouTube, such as on the Ecom Freedom YouTube channel, Dan's YouTube channel, and, you know, other e-commerce YouTube channels for that matter. However, a lot of the information out there that is on the internet is you know false it's just people like really try to give you good incentives so you can get in get their course and then they kind of spring out of there it, it, which is it's, it's really too bad that the industry has gone that way that uh there's a lot of respect lost i guess when it comes to e-commerce um because of a lot of these fly-by-night people um, that have sold these courses, right? And uh, they just fell off the face of the earth, right? So Econ Freedom has been around for uh, a while. And you know, we're not going anywhere, right? We're making very relevant YouTube videos and content. We're always keeping the course updated here. Uh, so you really won't have that, that problem with us. However, we are on the more expensive side of things. So I completely understand if uh, you, you know, you just kind of avail of our free trial and you don't end up going with us. So I didn't do a course, right? So I'm just like being completely honest with you guys, right? I, I didn't do a course when I started and I almost did. I was super, super duper close to doing a course, but what are some things that I kind of learned along the way and what kind of backlash did I have from not doing a course? Well, you know, there was, there was a ton of things. Most namely was the business configuration, right? Like the business setup. So I started off as like a sole proprietorship. I had no idea how taxes worked. I had no idea what I didn't know at that point from a legal business perspective, right? I wasn't incorporated, none of that kind of fun stuff. So that is stuff that I had to completely like backtrack and clean up the mess that I made for myself from a paper trail standpoint. Um, and you know, that ended up costing me probably what a course would have costed just in accounting fees. I had some issues with my trademark and ended up getting filed in the wrong name. That ended up costing me a ton of money, you know, having to go back with the lawyer and refile trademarks, for example. So these are things that are all like kind of laid out for you guys in the course, right? We have the MBA course that is under the Econ Freedom umbrella. So that's, you know, kind of included when you buy the Amazon course. We also have, you know, obviously the step-by-step -step, uh, Amazon course outline however you know it's a, it's a course right so not everybody's guaranteed for success you know nobody's guaranteed for success you're gonna get out what you put in type thing right it's like any kind of course right you 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 buy a university course and you don't study you know you don't go to the lectures you're probably not gonna pass the course right like that is something to consider so you know the moral of the story there is do you need a course? No. Would it be better to have a course? Probably. Um, it really depends on how you learn, right? 
What are some good things to look out for uh, when, you know, kind of considering an FBA course or, you know, Shopify or e-commerce for that matter, Etsy, I don't know, maybe there's some Etsy courses out there now. So when I was looking for a course and I was super close to buying it, it wasn't e-commerce freedom, it was a different course. And I was, you know, finger on the trigger ready to purchase it. And then I like, you know, Obviously, I was like, oh crap, I need to look at some reviews on this. So I went on this site and all the reviews were so good. They were so good, but it was weird. They they would come in like batches of like 20 every like two months, right? Like back to back almost. And they were all like five stars. It didn't really make sense to me, right? And it was not on a trusted platform is was the issue. So all the reviews were falsified, right? Like, cause, cause this course ended up owning the course platform that did the reviews, right? So it was all just so corrupt. So look out for that, obviously. Uh, make sure your reviews are, the reviews on the course are reputable. Uh, of course, Trustpilot is the most trusted review website out there. Uh, Econ Freedom is on Trustpilot. You can, you know, kind of go check us out there if you, uh, if, if you want some reassurance before kind of getting involved with us. Make sure that people are actually posting about, you know, kind of their experiences with the course and like some results and like information that they, you know, would have missed otherwise in getting the course. That's super, super important because when you're taking a course, they could be teaching you information that is like not right. So make sure the information that is in the course is not conflicting what people are kind of learning. So another cool thing um, that I would consider cool about Econ Freedom as opposed to other courses is that, uh, and to look out for do they offer a free trial right like you know you can come with us and get three modules for free and then bow out if you want to for completely free right it's a it's a free trial to determine if you want to pursue further um into the course right so i think that's a very good uh advantage that we actually offer um and that you know there are some other courses that offer it as well right so uh, like I said, there's going to be several different tiers of prices for courses. Usually it's quality dependent, right? Like obviously the lower the price of the course, the lower the quality, you know, that is something to consider. I know that we are at a bit of a higher price point when it comes to the course business, but we're not just one entity person that is running this course. We have a full team of about 20 people, right? That, uh, that need to be uh, compensated to make this uh, run efficiently, right? So when it comes to those lower tier courses, you're just gonna have some one person that is running the whole thing that has like, you know, 2000 students, right? It just, it's just really hard to keep up with the mentorship and stuff when it comes to handling that kind of volume. So uh, I guess the last, uh, the last kind of point that I want you guys to look out for when choosing a course is that, um, you know, is the course up to date? Is it relevant, right? Or is the information up to date, right? Is the reviews that is on the Trustpilot website or whatever the case may be, are they showing you reviews that are up to date and that the course is up to date? Are the reviews specifying that the course is up to date? Those are some indications that I would look for in a reputable course. Like I said, there's tons of courses out there, guys. Like you're gonna, it's almost like you get bombarded when you first come across e-commerce with all these different walks of life, kind of trying to get you to buy their stuff. But uh, I'm not here to sell this to you guys. I'm just kind of trying to get the information out to you. With that, I hope, you know, I kind of shed some light in this video uh, when it comes to e-commerce courses and Amazon courses specifically. If you want to check out our course, uh, link the description in the bio here. You can join the free trial. It's a seven day free trial, no risk involved there. You get the first three modules for free. Obviously there's some drawbacks. You don't get access to the mentorship. So no Facebook community, no product check service, no one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring and no mentorship calls uh, of course. But if you're happy with that, uh, obviously you can upgrade at any time. Uh, I've also linked the uh, Econ Freedom Amazon FBA starter pack in this description of this video if you guys want to check that out as well. If you liked what you've seen here today and, you know, obviously subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, guys. We're just trying to get this information out. It's completely free information for you guys so you're not wasting your hard-earned money on courses that are just, you know, not worth it. And you're just looking to increasing your knowledge, right? Even if you don't build this, you know, fantastic uh, business at least you're aware of these kind of repercussions and different courses that are out there right because all of them are not trustworthy also link to trustpilot in the bio guys uh check out trustpilot if you want to read reviews on trustpilot it's literally a reviewing website it is very encrypted we do not have any access or any um kind of influence on the reviews that are posted here um, these are all just students that are in the course that have appreciated their time and are showing their feedback so that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next week for a little bit more on Amazon.